hello everyone, continuing from the previous video, now I will explain my business plan. So I decided to open a coffee shop named Kopi Lee. I prefer this name because my shop is selling coffee and Lee is from my last name. So one of the reasons why I want to establish this business is to expand Indonesian coffee across Southeast Asia. Next, what is the specialty of Kopi Lee? There are three specialties. The first one is Kopi Lee always use local products as their main ingredients. The second one is Kopi Lee always develop its beverage innovation with current trends. And for the last one, Kopi Lee has a unique taste which is different from other coffees in general. I divided my company goals into two components. The first one is about the vision. For the vision, Kopi Lee wants to expand and promote Indonesian coffee across Southeast Asia. And the second one, it is about the mission. For the mission, Kopi Lee wants to boost Indonesian economy by increasing local products consumption as part of Kopi Lee main ingredients. Kopi Lee has a special menu called Ram Regal Coffee. Ram Regal Coffee is focused on the innovation of a mixture between modern style ingredients and authentic memorable Indonesian taste. Now I will explain about the marketing. For the marketing method, I decided to choose the offline method. It is located at Kelapa Kopior Street, East Kelapa Gadi. Kopili use brochure, Instagram ads, and YouTube ads as the marketing media. Next, Kopili has two target markets such as coffee drinkers and coffee shop lovers. Next, I will explain how Kopili use strategies to win the competition. There are three strategies. The first one is Kopili provides a discount when making payments using OVO or GoPay. The second one is Kopili provides a buy one get one promo at the end of every month. And for the last one, Kopili provides a 50% discount when using an official Tumblr from Kopili. Now, how about the human resources? Kopili needs a barista and cashier for the human resources. The job description for a barista is maintaining the availability of coffee supplies, keeping all equipment operating by following operation and maintenance instructions, and improving the reputation of Kopi Lee by maintaining the quality of the offerings. And there are five requirements that have to be fulfilled, such as minimum education is high school or equivalent, experience in food and beverage preparation, have listening and communication skill, have affability to work around peak hours, including nights, early mornings, weekend, and holidays, responsible, clean, and neat. Meanwhile, the job description for cashier is processing payments carefully and quickly, greet customers when entering or leaving the shop, resolve customer complaints, guide them, and provide relevant information. And also, there are five requirements that have to be fulfilled, such as Minimum education is high school or equivalent, experience as a cashier or in a similar role in sales, experience with electronic equipment like a cash register or an POS, have good math skills, and have strong communication and time management skills. For the last one, this is about the SWOT analysis. So for the SWOT analysis, uh, there are four. The first one is strength. Strength copily has a unique taste at an affordable price and copily using the concept of youth to attract customers. For the weaknesses, the parking area is not large enough and the dining place is not wide enough. And the third one is opportunities. The coffee shop is designed with an Insta Instagramable concept so that it can attract customers and many people have a consumptive attitude towards coffee. And for the last one, threats, many, many other competitors are known to the public and there is customer behavior that keeps changing. So this is the end of my presentation. Thank you for attending this presentation.